Hi, it's April from Kindle Fire at KindleNationDaily.com. You can see our URL right there, fire.kindleNationDaily.com. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about using Audible to play audiobooks on your Kindle Fire. You can see here on my carousel, I have the Audible app, but it comes loaded by default on your Kindle Fire and if you just tap on apps it's this little icon here um, with the sort of rainbow looking stripes and it says Audible. So if you're an Audible member uh, recently Audible and Amazon have merged so the first time you use this app you're going to be prompted to coordinate your Amazon account with your Audible account or to link them up so that your login information for Amazon will be the same as your login information for Audible. So it's actually kind of convenient, you know, one less password to remember. And the other thing that makes it convenient is once you've done that, when you download new content from Audible, you'll be prompted just when you finish the checkout process if you want to immediately download the new book to your Kindle or have it sent to your Kindle. So that's a handy little feature. And also you can still download um, through the Audible Download Manager on your computer like you've always done in the past, if that's your preference, to have it import to iTunes and play on your iPod. So this way you have access to your Audible books on not only your iPod or whatever device you were using before, but also on your Kindle Fire. So you just uh, install the um, application and then you know once it's installed you just tap to open like any other app and what it will initially do is take you to your library screen so here's where you're going to find all of your audible purchases if it doesn't show everything that you've purchased recently then try syncing again if that doesn't work and I've had this problem before um, just uninstall the Audible app because the version that came with your Kindle Fire may not be the most recent version so uninstall it and then reinstall it. Go back to the Amazon App Store download the latest version. It's free and um, that solved the problem for me. Once I did that then I was able to see all of my purchases. So if we take a little bit closer look at the screen here I'm sorry that the text is not legible um, it's pretty small on the screen, but let me see if I can zoom in. No, zooming isn't allowed here. But you can see over here, it will show you an icon with a downward pointing arrow or a button labeled download if you would like to download something that you purchased but haven't actually got on the fire. And um, it shows you what you purchased most recently at the top and then in the current month is the next little green divider line and then the previous month and so on. Um, at the bottom here is what you've purchased this year. So you can see I've got a lot of audiobooks here. So just to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to go into this one which is the importance of being earnest. It was actually a free offering to Audible members and it's a full performance type of a book um, with numerous actors portraying the parts in this short story. Okay, so this is the screen that you see. I'm just going to pause it. Um, there's a little icon here with a backward pointing circular arrow and the number 30. If you tap that, it will take you back 30 seconds in the recording. This is where you'll see your pause or play icon. And then this is a little bookmark icon where if you want to set a bookmark to very quickly go back to a specific spot in the audiobook, you can do that. Now by default, it will remember where you left off when you were listening to it last. So you don't have to set a bookmark just to get it to remember where you left off the next time you want to pick it up and start listening again. But uh, this can be handy if there's a specific other part of the book that you want to have readily accessible. Now if we look at the menu here, there are a few different options. There's share, and this will connect to your different social media networks in case you want to 
spread the word that you've been listening to the importance of being earnest and you know you're loving it or what have you um, sleep this one is an interesting one and when you're using your Kindle Fire you may have noticed that if you're inactive for a period of time it will automatically turn itself off to save on the battery but if you're listening to an audiobook or mp3s you don't want it to do that so by default when you're using this app the sleep mode is off and even if your screen on your Kindle Fire goes dark to conserve the battery it will continue playing the book so you don't have to worry that um, sleep mode is going to interfere with your audiobook. But maybe there are times when you want it to go to sleep. Well, you have the choice of selecting 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes at the end of the chapter or at the end of this part of the book. So that's a pretty nice little feature. Then you also have this button free mode, which um, allows you to use swipe movements on the screen instead of using the play and pause and go back 30 seconds buttons. There's a little bit of a learning curve with it. The first time you use it, it'll walk you through a little tutorial of how it works and you may find that you prefer it. Personally, I just prefer to stick with what I already know and use the familiar play, pause, and go back 30 seconds buttons. Then there's an item here for my library. You can also adjust the narrator speed. And that's a nice little feature that you're not going to have if you're listening to the audiobook on, let's say, your classic iPod. So if um, the narrator's going a little fast for your taste, you can slow it down. If they're going a little slow for your taste, you can speed it up. And then you can quit the app here with this little icon. And to close that, you just tap away from that little menu bar. So up here, there are some tabs. Again, the text is really small. I'm sorry you can't see it, but I'll describe it for you. Now Playing is the tab that opens by default. Then there's a tab for Details. And if you tap on that, you see the details of the audiobook. You see um, the title, who the author is, and a brief description. Then there's a list of chapters for the book. And then if you've set any bookmarks, here's where you would find your bookmarks under the Bookmarks tab. Okay, so uh, let's go back to Now Playing, and I'll just play a little bit of this, and I'll demonstrate the Go Back 30 Seconds. Did you hear what I was playing, Lane? I didn't think it polite to listen, sir. I'm sorry for that, for your sake. Okay, now I'll go back 30 seconds, and it took me right back to uh, 30 seconds back from where I was listening. Now this progress bar is also something that is interactive so you can slide along here to skip ahead or to go back and once you do that when you hit play again it'll pick up right where the progress bar is. Yes, I'm quite well aware of the fact and I often wish... Now that's a feature... That's a feature that I find myself using quite often if I'm listening to an audiobook and then I get distracted by something, you know, maybe the phone rings or, or what have you, then um, this is a good way to just quickly go back when you're not sure exactly how many seconds or minutes ago it was. You can kind of scan and listen until you get to where you left off. So um, there you have it, Audible audiobooks on the Kindle Fire, and once again, I'm April from Kindle Fire at KindleNationDaily.com. And there's our URL, fire.kindleNationDaily.com. We hope to see you there.